The first deadly sin is unideal cycle time. Incorrect ideal cycle times are easily and by far the most common problem we encounter related to the accuracy of OEE data. This is an epically important sin because it happens so often and is so impactful to the quality of your data. You should never be able to run faster than the ideal cycle time, or ICT. It represents the absolute fastest cycle time per part that can be achieved on a sustained basis. Many companies set ICT based on readily available budget or standard times, which include loss allocations. When budget or standard times are used for ICT, it artificially inflates your OEE score, hides losses, and limits your ability to improve. There are two traditional ways to determine an accurate ICT, nameplate capacity and time studies. Nameplate capacity is specified by the equipment builder. It's the design capacity of a machine or process. Time studies measure the fastest speed that the process can support on a sustained basis. There are easy ways to spot a problem with ICT, if you know where to look. First, an OEE performance score should never be greater than 100%. If it is, the most likely culprit is ICTs that are set too slow. Fortunately, this is an easy problem to detect. If you have automated production monitoring, a data quality alert should be automatically triggered anytime OEE performance is over 100%. Second, if every cycle time is measured, you can compare actual cycle time to ideal cycle time for each part and instantly spot anomalies. In the chart here, the blue column represents the ideal cycle time and the green column represents the actual cycle time. Can you spot the part that definitely has an incorrect ICT? It's part D. Anytime ICT is longer than actual cycle times, the ICT is set too high. Here's a tip to help ensure that you catch incorrectly set ICTs. Make sure to exclude small stops when auditing cycle times, even though they are considered a cycle loss and therefore are a part of OEE performance. This is because including small stops in your cycle time analysis will increase the average cycle time and make it more difficult to detect when the ICT is set incorrectly. Also keep in mind that even within a given manufacturing process, ideal cycle time may need to be set by part. Here's a quick tip. You should never increase the ICT to mitigate factors such as machine age or material quality. Instead, these types of loss factors should be considered opportunities for improvement. The key takeaway, verify that all your ideal cycle times are accurate. Validating your ideal cycle times is an important step, but it's only the first step towards creating an accurate and actionable data foundation.